Hello and welcome to our tutorial on unions. So what a union will do is it'll take two select statements and then combine it into one. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create a whole new query and we're going to select our person address. I'm sorry. I don't want to do that. Sorry. So we're going to take I want to take uh, address line one and it's important to note that its type must match uh, whatever we're going to join on or what we're going to use our union on. So we're going to doctor this up here in a little bit. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And we're going to use our keyword union. Now, union will distinctly join. It will not give you duplicates, so for this purpose, we're going to go ahead and say union all because we will want duplicates just for the purpose. Now, we're going to look at the product table as well. There's a product. It's product, product. Yeah, here we go. We're going to grab the name. And let's grab the product number. So now, if we compare, address line one is an invar char, and name is an invar char, product number is an invar char. And cities and in bar char. Now their size is obviously different, but it will work just fine. <laughs> Ideally, you'd want them to be about the same size, but then again, the database would be built probably differently to the one that you'll use. So we're going to go ahead and join these, and you're not really going to be able to tell the difference until we kind of doctor this up a little bit. So first thing I want to do is we're going to add some additional information so we know what is what. So this is address. And this is the city. And what this will do is, is it'll say address, obviously give us a space, and then it'll add whatever this address line is, and it'll do the same for city. The way we can kind of see the difference here, we're going to do the same for this too. We're going to say Alright, now we're going to go ahead and execute. So we can see our address. Our city is obviously null for those apparently. Go ahead and scroll down. That would be a few results. So what it's done is it's combined this select statement and this select statement. Now since this is the first select statement, it's going to add or it's going to use that name. Actually, I actually forgot to add that. So generally we use this as the column name. Um, now that I fixed city though, city is probably not going to be the uh, column. Yeah, so it should be no column name as well. What we need to do is probably give them a name so we could say Address say as I 
Now, keep in mind that this is not exactly the most ideal union. And in fact, it makes zero sense. But it does kind of give you an idea of how it works. So you can distinctly see what it's doing. And that's the whole point of showing you this. So you can distinctly see how this union's working uh, and what it's doing. So you're just basically taking two, the results from both of these and combining them together. Now, some things to remember to know about unions is, is that these must match this. So if I do this, for example, which this is just commenting it out, I'm going to get an error. All combined queries, all queries combined using a union, intersect, or ex accept operator must have an equal number of expressions in their target lists. So as I was saying before, this has two, two coming back, so this needs to have two coming back. So that won't work. So this always has to match. So now that'll work. What if I try to, to grab a different item like that was not a varchar. So let's say I try to grab let's try to grab this integer. And This should probably throw an error because this is an integer and this is a string. You can't convert. And it did. It failed because the conversion from a varchar value days to manufacture to a data type int. Which I was expecting that error to happen. So that's what I was talking about where it has to be you can only join or you can only do a union on Varchars to varchars, integers to integers, you know, the values have to, or the data types have to match up. And this is a data type in case you're wondering, like small int, for example, or in varchar is a data type, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So those data types must match when you're joining them together. Like when you're doing a union, you're doing a quote unquote marriage, they have to be the same. Unfortunately, SQL does not like diversity. If you want to think of it in that perspective, um, you have to be the same. So that's unions. And as I was saying, though, with the union, all versus union, this is distinct, and this will grab everything. So that's the main difference there.